there's just like a lot of cool stuff here in Da Nang, uh, in Vietnam, and I didn't even know about it until traveling and other travelers told me like, hey, if you're going to Vietnam, go to Da Nang. Oh, I like that. If you're going to Vietnam, go to Da Nang. If you're going to Vietnam, go to Da Nang. Yeah, I just felt myself there for a minute, but uh... Good morning everyone, coming at you not so live right now, but sometime in the near future you're watching this. And we're in Da Nang, Vietnam right now, Woo! where we're uh, currently staying with my buddy Yui, his uncle and grandma, right there. And then that's hey. him and his mother. My mom, my mom. <laughs> um, and they have been so gracious to allow us to stay here in Da Nang with them for the weekend. So uh, this is Da Nang. Look at their shoes! Hi! Alright, we got some Vietnamese breakfast! We're near the beach! This is beautiful! <laughs> so I took a little pit stop at the beach. This is a beautiful place! I think we're gonna maybe come back here, hang out another day for right now. We're having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so join us. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing now? We're we're not we're not doing anything right now. Well, we're, going, we're going back to Aiden's place um, to relax because we're obviously always doing crazy stuff. So we're tired. <laughs> Stop being so lazy. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Back at Aiden's place. Oh. <laughs> hey! Yum! Yeah. What'd you get here, Mitch? Uh, it's honestly it's spaghetti with something else on it. I don't know what what this part is, but as you can see, I added a little secret sauce, the chin si. Oh, chin si, chin si, chin si. Chili garlic. It's like ketchup. As the fact that it has the same bottle, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not. not uh, nice demonstration of how to use it. Pour it slightly in circles and <laughs> round motions, and then all over the edge with the little dots. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should be like a Shinsu model. Yeah. I'm Can you model this for us? No. Oh. <laughs> Here. Well, oh, beautiful. Now, like. See, see. Oh. Now rub your hand oh. like around it in a circle. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get really close to your face for this one? Just to, like watching your mouth. Suck oh. it up. <laughs> <laughs> good, good job. <laughs> you bit your lip? Remember that time where you bit your cheek like five times in two in days? One day. And then, yeah. I'll be honest, I watched an episode of The Office, and a friend of you who watched The Office, you know that episode where Jim. Bites his lip. Our three point shooting? Don't even. I bit my lip at lunch today. Like five times, and he's like, it's okay, I won't bite. And then he bites his <laughs> and he freaks out. It's not a big deal. You know, I always tell my three year old, if this is the worst thing that's gonna happen, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, Pam, that's it. I'm going home. Think of that, but with my face. If this is the worst thing that's gonna happen, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> <laughs> Grizzly Steve is on a very important phone call. This kind of sounds like a business phone call. Kind of boring if you ask me. But we're going to a coffee shop right now to get some things done. And I'm just walking hoping that Steve understands where we're going. Uh, but we're here in Da Nang and some fun facts about Da Nang just so uh, you kind of get the culture and the information needed in this cool video that he was making okay, uh, is Da Nang 1 has roads. As you can see, people, we use roads here. Two, it happens to be the number one city in Vietnam that people's lifestyle kind of living. Let me say that again. Da Nang happens to be the number one city for people to live in based on the lifestyle here because you have your beach, you have your nature, and you have your city. It's really cool. There's a couple fun stuff here like a dragon bridge that like breathes fire and stuff. Trust me, I'm not lying. I'm not exaggerating. It literally like breathes fire. There's Bana Hills which is like 
3,000 feet up and it was found by the French. There's just like a lot of cool stuff here in Da Nang, uh, in Vietnam, and I didn't even know about it until traveling and other travelers told me like, hey, if you're going to Vietnam, go to Da Nang. Oh, I like that. If you're going to Vietnam, go to Da Nang. If you're going to Vietnam, go to Da Nang. Yeah, I just felt myself there for a minute, but uh, now I'm a little out of breath. One thing about traveling is you got to learn to work out, find time, stay healthy. All right, here's the coffee shop. And we're at the coffee shop. So Steve still happens to be on that important business meeting at the moment. So I went ahead and ordered some coffee, but check it out. So this is the traditional Vietnamese coffee here, and then it's served like this. As you can see, it drips, and then there's milk at the bottom. And I'm doing some work. Getting ready to teach those kids in Beijing. But yeah, Steven, where are you? I know we've only been together for a few hours now, but I miss it. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. So coffee was good, but now we're a little hungry. Misha says he's been to this restaurant before, so let's get some food. Oh, uh, ciao. ciao. Sit here. Update. <laughs> yeah, so we decided not to get food there. Not because it's bad food, just it's kind of expensive for what it is, you know? We can go get some Indian food. Indian food! Yay, hello! <laughs> hello. It smells good. Hello. Reminds me of my good old days in India. Wow, private little room. Deltaka. Deltaka, and that's a vegetarian dish. Yes. These are all vegetarian dishes, yeah. What'd you get? I got, uh, I don't remember the name of it, actually. Paneer. It's, no, uh, it's Kama, Kamal Para. Kamal Para, I think. Sure. It's cottage cheese. We'll go with that. Boom, got some yummy food sitting in my tummy tomb. My tummy tomb? That's a new thing. A tummy tomb. Because it's like, you know, when you die, you go in the tomb, and we just killed some food and put it in our tummy tombs. <laughs> Webster, <laughs> ding ding ding, new word or hyphen, tummy hyphen tomb. Tummy hyphen. Now Misha has to go teach some kitties. Yes, time to teach the Beijingers a little bit of the English language. <laughs> Beijingers. But they're really cool. Like these kids, they're like between five and twelve, and like one kid like makes me laugh because he knows the right answer, but he always gives me the wrong one. And Easton, I'm coming for you, bro. Today, I got some jokes for you. Easton. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them have cool names like Easton. <laughs> <laughs> this is Joey. I have a Joey. Uh, who else do I have? I have a. Uh, I have a. Uh, damn, I can't really think of any. I just know Joey and Easton right now. What a good teacher. Oh, I have a Yichen. I have a Yichen, which is a like not common. It's like Yamen, but Yichen. Um, there's this one really cute girl. Like she's like five years old. And she has the chubbiest cheeks, and her name is Alyssa. Alyssa, I think. Alyssa. But she's so cute. Like some of these kids are. Sh I just love kids. <laughs> I'm gonna go edit some video. Misha's gonna teach the Beijingers. And we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so apparently now I think we're going in cave. I like caves. So you can stay here, just making sure everyone's full of care. <laughs> <laughs> Big guy in a little chair. <laughs> 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 That's all I care, right? Godzilla! Hulk smoke! Why? 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 Don't go right, go left. Go, go right. right. Okay. Okay, swing. 